Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Liverpool at the Olympia for MTK Friday Fight Night. With me I've got Martin Murray. Martin, last time I spoke to you was in Cardiff. You said you've come back just to enjoy it. Did you enjoy it in there? Yeah, I enjoyed it in there, yeah, for once. Um, had him going a couple of times. Um, and went a little bit, but, you know, put it on him a little bit. And even, even then I just thought, you know what? It'll come again if it comes great, if it doesn't great in the past. Trying to go in there. Yeah, yeah, I'm going there. I'm going there. I'm going there. That man, then he's, in, then he's yeah. a legend. He can do it yeah. once. Yeah. yeah, just here's perfect, mate. Yeah. It's a bit of light in here as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, so you enjoy it in there. You said you had him a couple of times. Yeah, I had him a couple there. of times. You know, in, in the past, I thought I'd have put myself under loads of pressure to get him out of there. I thought, you know what, I'll put it on him a little bit. If he goes great, if he doesn't, you know, what is it will come again? And if it does, it does, if it doesn't, it doesn't. But I enjoyed it, mate. Um, only started finding me timing towards the towards the end of the fight, but um, but Did yeah. Ring rust because you last bit, bit, of, bit of ring rust, yeah, bit of ring rust. Um, yeah, I mean, it took me a couple of rounds in sparring to get it, but everything's gone well. Just took me a little bit longer then, but um, but yeah, you know, it's anything's a bonus for me now. So so yeah, I'm uh, putting myself under under no sh uh, stress or pressure. The plan is there isn't a plan, so. It's a fight, fun. yeah, yeah. It's about time. You, um, yeah, who knows? You know, I've had that much, that many plans over years, and they've not worked. Maybe yeah. by not having one, it might work. But, um, okay, yeah. but yeah, I'm just, just enjoying it, mate. To be honest with you. Would you believe that n not going with the ring rust and all that? Maybe if it was a twelve round fight, you might have got that guy out there because the ninth and the tenth round, you had him going there. That, yeah, that I did, and that, yeah. that's it. Like I said, I, I started finding my timing. Uh, he started going, um, maybe, but. It wasn't a 12 round fight, it was a 10 fight in it and he went the 10 rounds, so so yeah, um, just a win's you, you, you seem happy, you seem yeah, happy. Yeah, I am. I, your, you exact, know, your exact words for me in Cardiff was, I've lost the obsession for the world title. Yeah, I have, because I've had an unhealthy obsession for years. Mm. And, you know, it, it's about time, Oliver used to always say to me, he's always say, listen to your body, just go in there and enjoy it. Yeah. And for years, I just, did, I just didn't do it. And, and, and now, I'm finally taking his advice on board, and um, oh, all right. I'm, finally, yeah, I'm finally taking his advice on, on board, and yeah, just uh, just enjoying it for once. You know what I mean? So I've been there, done that for everybody. Take the big fights if they're there. If they're not there, does it matter? It's just one of them. I've I've got my family. I've already won in life, you know what I mean? Well, talking about your family, your kids were here tonight. Yeah, first time. I mean, time. from the first bell, come on dad, come all, on dad. All the herbs on my island, that's the first one she's been. She fought, um, she went one, she fought. She went one in... Uh, Maybe one day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think she's a little nutcase as well. In Johannesburg 2014, she was, I think she was, yeah, she was 13 month old, so she don't remember it. That was the first time they've all been, um, but this is the first time they've been proper and. Oh, she loved it. All the, like you said, all the heard from from um, from first bell was come on, daddy, come on, daddy. <laughs> it was, I was laughing to myself in there, thinking of it. But um, but yeah, a couple of memories for them. Um, bit of an experience. So so yeah. Well, definitely, they seem to enjoy it. Your your boys, he's he's running about doing oh, he loved dancing it, on the shadow boxing. So <laughs> he looks like he can fight you. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's, you you say there's no plan. So. It's kind of hard for me to ask what's next for you then, if there's no plan, you just want to... No, I'm, you know what, to be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not asked. Yeah. I'm really not asked. Um, I'm going to have a nice break now with family. Go away next week, couple of weeks. Um, come back, get myself back fit. I like getting fit, uh, training anyway, so get myself fit. I love it at gym with lads, uh, Jamie and Nigel. Um, what they've done for me over the past, past couple of years. Honestly, I'll, I'll, I'll respect them for the rest of my life. They've really, they've really helped me out when I've been low. Um, so it, it's good for me going that gym, I love it. Um, it's a good crack, all lads, all top lads. So we'll get back in there and see if the fight comes comes up or just just take it easy until, until one does. And if it does, it does. But I'm if it doesn't, sure. it doesn't. Yeah, I, I, think, I think there will be. And, and you know what? Um, I'm, I'm in... I mean, I'm in no mad rush mm -hmm. to take it. Do you know what I mean? Do you wish you felt like this ten years ago, or maybe when you started boxing? Is that no? That be, 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 no, um, you can't buy experience. Yeah. So it's only now, like I said, what Oliver used to always say to me, listen to your body. And he used, some days he used to come at gym, and he used to say, slow down because I used to train like a maniac. 
I still do to be honest when I go into the gym and I get my session done and I'm just gone but I used to train and train and train and some days you just go all of his, you say well, why are you training so mad or some days you just go to the gym and go right go home take a day off yeah. you know what I mean and that hard work has got me here so um, so no I wouldn't I wouldn't change a thing like I said you can't buy experience but um, you've you, you know, you, you've got it. You've got to know. You've got to test yourself to see if you've got them balls. Yeah. See if you've got that gut. And if things get hard, can you stay in there? I know I've got that. So, uh, and I'll always have that. No matter how fit I am or unfit, I'll always have that. No matter what I fight to my last breath. But, um, but no, I mean, what was the question? I fucking forgot. Another one. Uh, like, you, 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 there's no obsession for a world title, but is there sort of like Listen, a, a feeling that you, because you've got that visa for America now, would you love to go fight in New York, Madison Square Garden? No, I, you know, like I'd be good if it if it happened, but it's not one. I, I'm not going to say it's always been my dream for fights in America because it's not. I mean, I've, I've missed a lot of opportunities there, but I think the ship sailed, if I'm honest. Yeah. But if a fight come over there, great. It just be, it just be a little added bonus because anything for me for me is now a bonus. You know I, I said to Carl, Carl Frampton when I interviewed him there, I said, obviously, all going well with this Dominguez fight, you get the Oscar Valdez fight, where would it be? He said, it's probably the West Coast. He said, how good would it be to get Martin Money on the card? Oh, yeah. That, that would be wow. amazing. Like, yeah. The whole gym, you, Carl. Oh, that would be Bell. unbelievable, yeah. There, there, there's something. But yeah, um, I've got my visa now, yeah. so five years. So who knows? I mean, I mean, it would be nice fighting America, but like I said, I'm not going to say it's my dream for a fight though, because it's, it's not. I see, I get the feeling like you're, like boxing's just on the side, like you're happy with life, family, it, 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 everything like that. If it's, I'm honest with you. I kind of want that, I want you to rub it off of yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> if I'm honest with you, it kind of always has been. Yeah. Um, it's always been family first, boxing second. And I know there's people going to be out there and say, that's fucking my... boss. Right, so I've got to go and save the kids. All right, I've got to go and save the kids. Well done, Greg. I know there's going to be people out there who say, no, that's why he's not fucking on a world title because he's not put boxing first, but I've trained my balls off mate all my life. Um, and it has always been a second thing to me. Boxing saved my life. It did save my life as, as well as me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, little plug there, there. yeah. <laughs> but, um, but, but, but it has, but um, family's always been, this for me is just a job, it is just a job, I've always said, even when it's been hard it says don't, don't last forever and it doesn't, but as soon as this is over I'll just go on to another job and then that, that's what I'll do, I'm a grafter, so it's, I, I've not been one where boxing is as the, the be all and end all, my family's the most important thing for me, I've done a lot of boxing but I've already won with the family I've got so like I said, any, anything's uh, been, should be up. For, that's my little girl. She's not phone to my mum though. Oh, really? But uh, Nige, turn it on. Can't wait to see you in a bit. Um, but yeah. Oh, man, there was a question. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move again. Well, one more question before I let you go. I mean, um, you had, you've got your family here and you said this is just a job for you. I mean, I wouldn't say that you're, you're young anymore. You've been in the game a long time. So is, is the only you? term pro, 25. Is, 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 coaching, <laughs> you're now. Yeah. is coaching maybe a thing that you look into? I mean, I mean, I mean, the, the fitness side of things. Yeah, you know yeah. what? I, I, I enjoy the coaching. I never thought I did. When I kind of like said that I was going to spear boxing in, in, like, after my last fight, I had a couple of months, like I think five months completely off the gym and I was doing a lot of PTs, teaching boxing, and I didn't realise how rewarding it would be. Um, and I really enjoyed it and it kind of helped me get my love for it back a, a, a bit to be honest with you but um, Oliver passed in yeah. in April and you know I, I, I'm kind of committed to training at Oliver's um, so I've been there like since he passed once a week just to kind of get the gym back buzzing again because that's all I could commit to um, for the time being but I'll I'll be I'll be doing it forever now in memory of him and his lads of unreal talent, Lerone. He's obviously gone through a lot with the passing of his dad, so we've got to rebuild him. He's only 17, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of training him and helping him. Got Diego Costa, who's just got in that contender VIP. Is that the fellow that was screaming in there? He was behind me at the end of the blue t shirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, I'm, I'm, 
what's that? Are you training these? Yeah, well, it's a mad story with Diego. I met him in a B for like, when was it? Two, three years ago. And he was doing security at some club. And he came over and introduced himself to me and he was like, oh, Martin, money a box and I want to turn porn. I said, well, come over and have a gym, mate, if you want. Yeah. Passed, me, passed him my number. And then, I think the September then, end of September, early October, he phoned me and said, I'm coming over Friday. So we could, <laughs> Fair Yeah, juice, so we come over. Um, that was three years ago. He, he got off to a good start, start, four fights, four wins, three knockouts. And then he had a bit of back problems. His career stagnated a little bit. Um, but we've got him in this... VIP can send it out. He's up at light heavyweight. He's, he's naturally super middle, but he's uh, he's fighting up third of on Steve Woods' his manager. He's fighting up third of August in Oldham, just a comeback fight, and then he's in that uh, like I said that UK VIP yeah. contender. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so I, I can't. So I'm I'm helping out with him. I've got Lerone. I'm helping out with Thomas Mazurkovic and Humphrey Harrison, Oliver's brother, yeah. uh, Oliver's gym. So. Who, who knows? I, I'm, I'm there. I'm, like I, I promise Oliver that I'll commit to like helping the own out and, uh, and his gym, and, and, and that's what I'm going to do. So you, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of like in a in, in a good position really because obviously I trained the lads at Oliver's in the Oliver's gym, and then I bought I trained myself at, with Jamie and Nigel at, at Steve Woods VIP. You know, um, and we've kind of got a good relate. We all work it between us. So I'm quite quite lucky really in, in, in who I've got around me and, and the help I've got so um we have just gotta you know who knows what's around the corner but I'm just You've gonna got the knowledge passed down from you from all the Oh yeah and he, he, he taught like yeah yeah and he taught me and Andrea and Alex McBenko and obviously Rocky Feet taught us all a lot. Um so I think it's only right for me to try and pass that down a little bit. So who knows? You know, you don't know what's around the corner, do you? But for now, I'm enjoying it, and we'll see where it takes us. Well, I'll probably end it on that because that's probably going to be the end of things. Top I'll let man. you get back to your kids and your, your wife's over there as well. <laughs> they want to see you. So, yeah. pleasure to see you, Fifteen. One, as always, Thanks, a pleasure. Mate. Thank you. Nice on pal.